All right, so the Apple TV 4K is out and you're thinking, should I pick it up so I can get 4K HDR? Do I want to be in that ecosystem or not? You're going through all these thoughts in your head. But wait a second, I've got some answers for you, yes. I've got five options you can pick from that are priced better and also give you similar or better content that you can actually pick and choose. So let's start off with our number five. But before we do, just remember to enjoy 4K HDR, you need a 4K HDR TV. So that's the first thing. Once we get that out of the way, let's start off with our number five um, option. So the first option, at least the fifth option, is the Chromecast Ultra. The Chromecast Ultra retails for about 69 bucks. It's light, it's simple. What's great about it is it's very portable and you can move it around. You can take it with you on the road because it allows you to cast from your smartphone to the TV. Now, this is something for someone who doesn't watch a lot of TV, but wants the ability to do that from a uh, timely basis, if you will. Now, in terms of 4K HDR content, if you have 4K HDR content on your phone, you can cast that. If you have um, any apps that support it, like Netflix, I believe Vudu and Amazon, those will also support that there. It is limited in scopes depending on what apps you have in your phone that actually do that. But it's a nice way to start without investing as much as the Apple TV at 179 bucks. Now, our number four option is something from Xiaomi. Now, this is the Mi Box. The Mi Box retails for about $69. It's powered by Android TV, supports 4K HDR, really small form factor. As you can see, it's got a, a nice, simple remote control. And yes, you can go ahead and use it and download different applications to support 4K HDR content, which is great. It is nice. It is very small. It fits into the living room. The black aesthetic is cool and functions quite well. So you can watch stuff from uh, Netflix, from Vudu, anything that supports 4K HDR on there, you do have that. Now, the one downside is that the up, um, in terms of updates, they haven't been as fast as they should, but it's still a nice cheap option at 69 bucks that you can place in your living room and it's got a nice simple remote control. Now, let's move on to our number three option. Yes, this is the brand new Amazon Fire Stick 4K with Alexa. It supports 4K HDR, it's the Amazon Fire Stick as we know it, and it's got, of course, a very nice, simple interface, though I'm not the biggest fan of the way that interface is, but it works out very well. And what's cool about it is that besides having 4K HDR content from Netflix, Vudu, you also have Amazon 4K HDR content. Now, if you're an Amazon Prime user, then you can also have access to more shows that are available to you. So you do have that there uh, built in, um, as well as also the simplicity of use, and of course the power of Alexa to actually control uh, the TV, as well as also search for uh, shows and things like that that you actually want to use. Plus, you can use that to control the rest of your uh, home uh, through the Amazon Fire TV using Alexa off the remote control. So again, that is a really cool option and it's priced at around 69 bucks. So it's well priced, it's easy and simple to use. Now, our number two option is something that of course a lot of people know. I'm talking about the Roku Premier Plus. Roku is a name that has been a powerhouse, of course, in um, you know connected and smart smartphone uh, uh, smart home TV apps. Uh, the Roku Premier Plus has 4K HDR. Now Roku is known for having a plethora of channels to go through. It's about 130, 140 or something like that. And there's a lot of 4K content there. There's a lot of 4K HDR content. You have your Netflix, your Amazon, your Hulu, whatever you want to watch, you can find on Netflix, which is on, uh, on the Roku, which is great. So from your standard 4K HDR content stuff to your obscure things like Crunchyroll, uh, different sports, international sports, you name it. That's the beauty of it. Plus, you do have the remote control that has a headphone jack, so you can actually listen to audio directly there without disturbing your loved ones if you're living in a smaller apartment, or maybe your loved one basically just crashed on the couch while you're watching a movie. You can actually still enjoy it. Put on some headphones and do that. I like that. Thank you very much, Roku. And I think it's a solid box. Aesthetic is nice, really simple, black, fits well into the living room, and something a lot of people will definitely like. Now, going to our final streaming box. This one is something that really takes the cakes because it does a lot more than just support 4K HDR content. I'm talking about the Nvidia Shield. Now, you can get it in two flavors. There's uh, just a shield with a remote control for about 169, and then the 19, oh, sorry, 179, and 199 
gives you the shield remote and with uh, the controller. And it does so much more. But I mean so much more. I'm talking about the fact that yes, it's got built-in Android TV. You've got Google Assistant built-in, which means of course, you can go ahead and control your, uh, your TV or functions like this. Okay, Google, play Justice League trailer. And you can also do so much more. So you can watch 4K HDR content with all the different applications that support it, whether it's Netflix, Amazon, Vudu, you name it, that's there. Uh, you have full access to Google Play Store. You also have access to games. Now, of course, it's made by NVIDIA, so gaming is one of the biggest things. You have different access to games. You do have um, Android games you can play off the system. You have the NVIDIA Shield, or the, the, the Shield access, or membership access, gives you access to streaming library of PC games uh, that is from their cloud service, so you can play a lot of PC games that you can see right there. But what's also the best thing is if you're a gamer like me, and you have a, a nice rig you built, uh, but you've got a big monitor, but you want to kind of just sit down on your couch and game, you can do that by streaming from your PC to your Shield. Again, it gives you so much more functionality. So you can watch premium content, you can game as well, uh, whether on different uh, levels, be it your PC, the cloud, Android, and it does so much more. Plus you do have those voice controls and it gives you a whole plethora and it's priced pretty much the same as an Apple TV 4K. So those are my five options and I think those work out really well if you're looking for a streaming box. You can pick up, of course, uh, a Chromecast um, Ultra HD. You can go pick up the Xiaomi Mi Box. You can pick up, of course, the new Amazon Fire Stick 4K with Alexa. Uh, there's also the Roku Premium Plus, which is 4K HDR capable and packed with all those Roku channels. And of course, there is the Nvidia Shield that does so much more from uh, watching 4K HDR content to giving you gaming options that you never thought were possible from uh, the cloud, your own PC games to Android games. So hopefully those uh, options helped you out guys if you're looking to pick up anything for this holiday season. I think these are the best five streaming choices. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also guys, if you're looking to pick up any of the items, they're in our links down below and also in our Amazon store. Thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.